Paperless Movement, your productivity, your way. Hey there, and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. You know, I'm a big fan of Apple Notes for quick note-taking, capturing meeting insights, and even building a single source of truth. Today, I reveal some hidden superpowers of Apple Notes that you might not know. Watch until the end of this video to find out how you can unlock the full potential of Apple Notes and learn how you can integrate it into your productivity system and business workflows. Now let's dive in. Let's go to the document scanning options. So you might be aware that you can scan documents with your iPad or iPhone and then you place it inside your Apple Notes. That's fine. But did you know that you also can scan handwritten text? In order to demonstrate this, I used a simple piece of paper here with a bit text on it and we lay it down there. We just go to the icon up there or from other things, you we can say scan text. And you see it will, it adds it live inside the note. On top here, it says already our oh, paper note. I hit insert and now it inserted a paper note. But we could also scan the document. So we just use it there this way and it recognized it automatically. It puts it there. We open this up, we just move it around and there we see this is a test note we say done and now it added it here scan documents you press and hold you can say large image so it makes it bigger but the great thing is now when we remove paper note here just for demonstration that this is now actually searchable so let's go to another note we go to search and say paper and there we go, it shows me the note and it jumps directly to the scanned document and this is actually handwritten. Obviously this also works with your invoices and all the other things. You could simply scan the invoices and then later on, once you need to find the invoice, you would just scan for the company or the invoice number or things like that and it will find the document for you. And then whenever you want to share this, you can just go here, share, and it is a PDF file that you can send via email or per air airdrop to another device and so on. This is really awesome. But it goes further. It actually allows you to even use the new live text feature in iOS 16. That's not available on the iPad right now because iPadOS 16 is not installed yet. However, on the iPhone iOS 16, it's already there. So I have an example here, for example, where I just added a video creating a card. This is in German actually. And there's a very quick recording, but down there, the three dots, you hit them and you say show text. And you see now it highlights all the text. And now I could even go to translate and then you can now use this text as well. Unfortunately, the moment I was testing this, the videos weren't searchable. I think this would be really powerful when you search inside your notes and the videos become searchable as well, like I just showed you with the PDF document. This would be really awesome. Going back to the document that we just scanned, I can open up this document and I can just simply start annotating on there and doing exactly the same things that we had before, creating annotations inside the PDFs and then close them and they will be saved. So I could now send this or print it out if you really want to print stuff and then this stays in there. So that's really convenient. Another great feature is when you're on your MacBook and you want to quickly add a sketch or a photo or something, I can say, for example, add sketch on my MacBook and it will wait and will automatically open up a place where I can draw stuff on my iPad and it will then, when I say done, it will add this to the MacBook. And you see here, it's on the MacBook. That's really awesome. The same applies to adding photos from my iPhone. See, it opens up automatically the camera. Now I could make a picture and then I say use photo and it adds it automatically to the node on the Mac. So I can keep working on the MacBook and use the other devices to capture stuff. Another thing that you might not be aware of is that you can use your voice names. So if you have an audio recording that you record and you want to share this with your notes, you just go to the recording, hit share, and you just share it with the note like this one and you will append this or you can create a new note. And then when we go back here, now when we scroll down, there is the audio recording and the good thing is I can simply play this back and even sc scroll through this audio recording in here. So you can have a collection of audio recordings in there. The other thing is when you bring in other apps, most of the things you can actually drag and drop. So I could now use this and drag it on in there. So there's no need to share stuff. The same applies to documents 
videos and so many other files uh, that you can just drag and drop into your Apple Notes. So are you excited about what you just saw? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're ready to master Apple Notes and elevate your skills, join us in the Paperless Movement membership. Here you'll find my extensive Apple Notes deep dive where I show you in over one hour how to get the most out of this app. Plus, you'll gain access to many other deep dives and our iCore courses designed to help you tackle scattered information and boost your productivity as a business professional. If you join us today, I'm thrilled to personally welcome you to our community, where our co-founder Paco Cantero, myself and hundreds of like-minded members are here to help you build your productivity system your way. For more details, check out the description below this video. If you found this information useful, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our next video. See you next time.